Greetings, brothers and sisters. It is this, the continuation of the, the building of the temple, of the third temple, building up the temple in Jerusalem. They are busy chipping the stones away. Uh, I know people, the tribes are going to be gathering. They're going to be joining them. There are people going to be flying in from all over the world to join in this. This temple will be built very, very quickly. It's going to be the quickest and safest we pray that there's peace in Jerusalem right now that this they're, they're going to be flying in from all over the world to assist in this Bible prophecy fulfillment bringing in and reigning in the Lord the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ it is the Sabbath day it is the 7th of May and it is uh, uh, 25 minutes to 3 p.m local time and i want to explain to you where and how i knew which day to go to in this book this book consists of 153 days with god starting on uh the the 23rd of march 2020 and it ends on the 153rd day of, as you see 153 days with god um this book and this is the main focus and that is the message that the Lord has sent to the world. So, right, um, how I knew to go turn to day 122 uh, out of the 153 days. How I knew the reading the, in the first video was from this day. Right. In 2019, the Lord said to me, read Psalm 119, which is the longest Psalm chapter in the Bible, New and Old and New Testament, and following, follow forward. So, which means we are sitting in, we are currently in Psalm 122. And I knew in 2019 that the building of the temple is coming as as the verses say as the psalms go it is coming in 122 and i made notes in my bible about this day so i was so excited when i saw that the the promise of the lord is true when he spoke to me he spoke to me you must know in the last since i got saved since uh, i got saved in 2017 Late, uh, uh, and, and I was taken to the book of Revelation. And ever since that day that I was saved, the Lord has been speaking to me. So every day when He speaks to me, it's still new to me. Because I've been praying since I was a kid in, in Sunday Mass. I would sit there and pray because my parents used to work in the church. And we, I was the last kid to leave. I had to leave with them. So I was on my knees praying and I could not hear the Lord. But he heard my prayer, but I could not hear him. Because I wasn't saved. My heart, I wasn't made pure. I was full. Of, I was born like every other human being. We are born in sin. Sin is part of our birth. And, we, and he, he is speaking, but we cannot hear him through the sin, the heart and heart. So he has to remove and purify that heart for us. Brothers and sisters. Okay, so... This is how I led to, I went straight, I woke up, I couldn't wait, I couldn't sleep. I saw this early hours of the morning and I was like, should I do the message now? No, 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 just wait. And I woke up and then I said, I'm going to do the message and then I got caught up in my book. And I went back and forward and reading the secrets that the Lord unveiled because I've got a um, different pen, I've got different cokey colors, mark highlighter colors, I've got different pen colors i've got blue i've got black i've got pencil now the pencil is the secrets the deeper things of god that i deem personal to me what the lord is saying and i just feel that now's the time to reveal the pencil markings in here and the pencil markings are just blowing my mind away the pencil markings are saying like, uh, for example, I read you the verse. You have to go back. You'll see the verses. I'm going to line them up on the video uh, so you can see what I read. And I want you to personally go in 
with your Bible and make markings and start doing exactly what I, what I, what what I, what the Lord showed me to do here. And make this a personal journey because this is the end, folks. This is the end. It's confirmed alone in these verses. So I just want to read. Uh, uh, I want to read you. This is the most important thing. This is from day 121 to 122. 123. These are the pages I'm reading on, on, on uh, 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 the um, 153 days with God. These are the days. At the bottom of day 123, which is uh, Psalm 123 next year, it says, On the 1st of August 2020, the life of David, build the temple building of the third temple i am i am containing my tears i have to hold back my tears because i'm in shock because this was written long time ago i found another note that says in 2019 Wait, where is that? It said here, 2019, the temple building. 1st of August, 2019, the temple building of the third temple is announced. Something like that. I've been reading back and forth, but I cannot find this thing now. Brothers and sisters, we are there. I want to go to Psalm, to, uh, what is it? Uh, Exodus 17, I want you to read. Where the story goes like this. Aaron and her, they fight the Amalekites. Oh my goodness, brothers and sisters. I, I, I'm so sorry that I cannot. Oh, there's a 2nd of August 2019. TV announcement of the third temple. Right here within these pages. And the Lord told me to open day 122, Psalm 122, day 122 of the lockdown 2020. And the Lord spoke to me and it is, the date is Sunday, Sa Sunday, the 26th of July, 2020. I had opened, yes, it, yes, it, this is where I said. I had opened my journal for the following year, which is last year, 2021, on the 26th of July, 2021. And it is the same story. The same story. Exodus 17, the Amalekites, Moses, and Moses Aaron and her, hands up war with Joshua, leading and travailed. As long as Moses kept up his hands, we will travail. Keep your hands up and look up to the sky, brothers and sisters. Now, what this is saying, what is going to be coming the 26th of July, 2022? Oh, I'm excited because people are going to be flying in to build and hewn that stone for this temple. I'm not looking forward to the temple. I'm looking forward to the coming of Jesus Christ. I'm going to be taken into heaven. I get my new body. We are going to be. And in the new Jerusalem shall descend. And we will reign with Jesus. On the right hand side we will reign as kings over all the nations of the world. That is Bible prophecy in Revelation 22. The Bible prophecies are being fulfilled brothers and sisters. I want to get you excited as I am. Oh, we are going home. We are going home. Oh, thank you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to do, I have to do another follow-up on this video. Because there's more to come in this book. I want you to hear what the Lord is saying here. Oh, brothers and sisters. Because um, what I'm unpacking in this book right now is I'm just... I just give thanks and, and, and praises to the Almighty God. Wow. Amen. Amen and amen.